Welcome to the African Album Review Podcast, where we review Africa's best and latest music projects. Africa, Moody say. My name is MJ Omoto and I welcome you to the African Album Review Podcast. Hopefully everybody is doing good, my people. How you doing? Me, I'm doing all right and uh, just trying to stay safe. You know how it goes. Hopefully everybody is doing the same because, uh, yeah, what we're going through right now might be uh, the new normal for a while, unfortunately. But I'm here with uh, an album review, so let's do that. Do visit motomotomusic.com. That's the website where you can find more podcasts and more episodes of the African Music Industry Podcast. And uh, top right hand corner, there's a PayPal icon. Click that. Your donations go a long way. And thank you so much to everybody who's donated so far. Um, this is why this podcast is still going. The latest African album review is. On the back of one of the top songs of uh, 2019 going into 2020 in Skeleton, Techno is back with a new project titled Old Romance. And with such a telling title, I was intrigued to give this one a listen. So here's my review. Old Romance was released on December 10th, 2020 under UMG. It has 14 songs, a 39-minute runtime, no features whatsoever, and multiple producer placements, including Mastercraft, who seems to be working quite hard with uh, the industry's best at the moment, and uh, also Zaki, Spax, Phantom, Clemzy, and more. The album cover is a steamy techno together with a woman who is biting into an apple. Hmm, Adam and Eve much? Maybe this album is uh, acknowledging a sinful stance, but a non-conformist attitude in making it what it is. Let's find out, shall we? Album review. Let's analyze the music. Skusku is one hella catchy song the title itself oh, excuse me. <laughs> yeah the title itself is one thing but it sounds like one of the new age r&b sing rap vocals yet with an african twist i don't know he even curses here and there which left me wondering what kind of album to expect from techno because this is not the techno i was really thinking i would get but don't worry, it's just a first song. The song designer brings you to a point of appreciation of Afro R&B vocals with that soft island dancehall and nothing like some crude in your face lyrics like, you know, she don't want to give her pussy to nobody. Nobody but me. <laughs> Man, Techno, what's up, brother? <laughs> I like that song actually. It might be my favorite from this album. Uptown Girl um, gives the listener a true marriage between Ama Piano and Afro Beats. So I found that quite unique, and it's the only song like that on this album. And it is in that unique pocket, and I believe we'll be hearing even more of that kind of music, uh, especially from um, Nigerian acts. So. Watch out, 2021 is going to be interesting because the Ama Piano fusions are going to blow up even more. You do get some more jazzy influences with Afrobeat hints on songs such as Family Issues, which deals with uh, a love where it's not full, fully supported by those around them, but Techno professes his love for the woman nonetheless. He says, nah, I love you even if, you know, they all might not support what we do. He asks, what are you going to do if you like a woman, but your mama no like her? What are you going to do, fellas? A techno doesn't mind trying something a bit off the beaten track as he did on the song Armageddon. The beat, the beat is something unlike anything else on this project, but it does have this sort of... Um, percolating vibe and you know unique drums going on so i think you should listen to this one and think maybe he's on to something 
album review. The technical side of things. Theme-wise, it's pretty much love and relationships as well as uh, social commentary, uh, which supports the title of the project, Old Romance, because even the music itself has got uh, a more mature feel to it. Uh, yeah. The album songs range from a short 2 minutes 5 seconds right through to 3 minutes 36 seconds. So not too short, not too long. Some of them support the trying to maximize for streaming numbers theory, uh, but others maybe not so much. I find techno to be lyrically intriguing, but not necessarily for depth, but simplicity. He keeps it really basic while relying on the melodies and his delivery to make a song irresistibly magnetic. He has enough my potato, my tomato, my french fries type lyrics, but you have to simply get past that to actually discover the genius. I have no issues with that because it requires less attentive listening in general, allowing the listener to immerse themselves in mostly the vibe and the melodies and the keys and all that. I appreciate that he does this because every musician has their lane and finding it is actually much harder than, than you think. And it doesn't always have to be, you know, the deepest songwriting or, or whatever the case may be. Something about techno just reminds me of the Jewel Bracket, who, like him, found their lane, which is mid-tempo love songs with simple and occasionally funny lyrics. And uh, the beats are kind of uh, stripped down and they use a lot of um, maybe delay or reverb just to uh, really drive home the snare or something like that. It's, it's so unique, man. I love it. Even then, techno gives us more variety, especially on this album, such as on the song Mistakes, which is an R&B jam and he totally does the whole sing rap thing. And I was like, when he did that, when did Travis Scott come to town? <laughs> That's, that was it. I was like, when did Travis Scott come to town? Honestly, uh, I get the sense that he's going to give us uh, some more experimental tunes like that which will cater to the young crowd. But on this album, he put it as the last song. So, you know, it might be a, let me test the waters kind of thing and see if people are actually going to like this techno. So he didn't take that much of a risk. Well played. The bass guitar on a song such as Tumbo is absolutely to die for. And it's testament to the instrumentation that went into creating this body of work. Uh, that attention to detail while committing to making everything sound amazing gets my respect any day. I love it. More artists should definitely do that. But again, one thing that I do realize is, um, you know, resources just to do this are not easy to come by, especially in a pandemic. So if you, if you ever have enough resources one thing you can do for your music is make sure that there's that attention to detail for the beats for the vocals and then the mixing and the mastering one thing techno nails on his music as well as productions is achieving a level of clarity that i rate as top 10 in africa he is one of the best at this it's also worth adding how this album is a no features project and that also tells you how confident Techno is of his talent. You know, like a lot of uh, musicians when they make projects, one thing you want is like, I don't know, your friends or other big artists or whatever to feature on a song or two because it's going to give it more um, uh, dynamism. But not Techno, bro. Techno is like, I'm doing this by myself. 14 tracks. Andy. Album Review. The Final Thoughts. Old romance is full of percolating rhythms to give you a mindful escape to Africa's coastline. This is a beachfront getaway with your bay kind of album. It feels like an extension of the success of uh, the single skeleton because the beats are much in the same lane with that smoothness and almost like slow to mid tempo somewhere there. 
it's very hard to pick favorites from this album simply because of how calculated the whole project is to satisfy a certain criteria which not only it does but it exceeds i think any of these songs on this album could be a single if uh, techno really wanted to i really love the song designer though and uh Tumba as well but i can listen to this entire project uh, multiple times over and over and we'll always have room for it because the songs are actually exceptionally well done techno fans of old will be thrilled and it keeps you in the same element as previous hits so you're in for a real treat and not too many surprises or risk taking if you're new to what techno offers definitely try this out um, uh, if you like afro beats or uh, high life uh, afro pop uh, i'm a piano and you might be pleasantly surprised to find a few jams that you're gonna like and also maybe even afro r&b because he does a little bit of uh, r&b especially in his vocals uh, less in the beats but more in his vocal otherwise that's it for me my name is mj omoto son of zimbabwe signing out this was the african album review podcast peace day day Moto Moto Music, the best place to listen to podcasts about African music online.